So our quick tip today, updating files, there's a few ways that we can accomplish this. So let's imagine that we have our Tumblr lid assembly here, but it needs to be updated with new CAD. So I'm going to go over file import dialog. I'm going to select the new CAD. That's going to open up our import options here. So we're going to keep it at the native origin. We want it on a new model set. If we selected update geometry, if anything changed, um, then it's not going to update properly. So we're just going to bring it into the scene and imagine we have a part that has a different uh, origin point. So with that set up, I'm also going to use the uh, apply materials uh, from the scene to matching source names since I do know that those are updated. So that looks all good to me. I'm going to select import. Uh, so let's take a look at the new model and you'll see that the position is at the origin. But when we look at the model that we're replacing, it too is at the origin. So if we used a copy position, paste position, I'm going to copy the old lid, selecting the new lid. I'm going to right click and paste position. It didn't move. Okay. So that's not going to be a viable option there. But what we can do is select the lid update there. And then we're going to change the pivot object. So we'll select the other lid and say OK. And so you can see now the pivot for our new object has moved up to where the pivot is on the old one. And now with that done there, I can come over to the move tool again and select snap to pivot. And now you can see the part is now in the same location as the old part there. And so now we can hide the old part and the new is now within the position. That is our key shot quick tip. Thanks for watching. <laughs>